Moving back to my place, we got all the stuff in the, the car and we're gonna move back. I'm so excited to be in my own room again. Last night was the first night back at my place. And so now my room has everything that was at my parents' house here. And I've accumulated even more through gifts and just like random Amazon orders. So now I am left with a very messy room so my mom is gonna come over and we're gonna do some cleaning. Eventually, I wanna kind of redo my room a little bit and make it more of a healing sanctuary. So I'm gonna buy some things just to transform it into a more healing haven. Now this is pretty messy. I know it's not like everywhere, but there's a bunch of stuff in all of these bins that may or may not have a place in my room. We kind of have to figure that out. So that's the main thing. I feel more independent, kind of getting my life back together, and I'm excited to kind of get a move on with healing. I think I still will be relying on my parents for so much, and I'm so grateful to have them as a support system. Just glad that I can come back here and still have my parents' support, but be a little bit more independent. Okay, this is where we're at now. Um, obviously, all of the bins and everything have been moved which is nice but I still have a lot to do in terms of the mini organizing and making things less cluttered. I just want to be able to walk <laughs> normally. Obviously I have this thing so I can walk. I just want to be able to like get off the couch and go wash a plate but it takes so much effort. Hey I <laughs> That was weird. The lighting is all wrong because it's so dark and dreary out. North Carolinians cannot handle a weather change from blue skies to, to rainy. It doesn't work. Anyways, I am going to cook today. Not really cook. I'm making overnight oats so that I can have breakfast or lunch depending on how I feel tomorrow for the next two days. So, it's my first time making them, so I thought I would film it. It actually is so easy, I don't even know if it's worth filming, but I'm still going to. They say to use mason jars, but we don't have mason jars. But we do have pickled, it says pickled cucumbers, but aren't pickled cucumbers pickles? It kind of still smells like pickles. Okay, then it says, if you're wondering how I can walk right now, I have my knee thing. I'm gonna need protein shake. I'm using the one from Shackley. Okay, these are so filling. I had one already, so I know it tastes good, but I didn't make it, so we'll see. One cup of rolled oats, then cinnamon. I'm just gonna eyeball this because I don't know where any of the teaspoons are. They're probably good. Half a cup of Greek yogurt. Two tablespoons of chia seeds. I'm kind of just eyeballing it like I don't put too many. The look of flaxseed, it kind of looks like baby cockroaches. Oh, I don't want to put peanut butter in. I'm approximating half a cup of almond butter. So aesthetic. Okay, I'm going to do that much. Is that too much? It smells good. I'm going to add another little ingredient, blueberries. I don't know what my problem is, but I cannot cook. I follow recipes and they never turn out. So remember those oats I made? Well, obviously because you just saw me making them. Look how they turned out. That looks disgusting. It looks, I'm not even gonna say what I think it looks like. Ugh, I'm not eating that. I don't know what my problem is, but I guess we're doing something else for breakfast. Made myself some eggs and toast instead. And now I'm gonna go to the Baha'i Youth Intensive that's happening. And I don't know if I'll vlog a lot, but that's what I'll be doing for a little bit of the rest of the day. Here's the fit. I feel like I look like a mother <laughs> with my fanny pack, my little jacket. I'm even wearing a cardigan. 
It is time for me to leave the house on my own for the first time and drive for the first time in like two months. So, wish me luck. Here we go. I did see the comments about me not vlogging and driving, so I promise I won't do that. I was gonna say good morning, but it's actually well into the afternoon and I really haven't done anything. I haven't been sleeping very well. There's a lot on my mind, but we're doing well. And I'm glad that um, I feel more confident walking. I've been walking around with just one crutch and my boot. So that's exciting. And I hope that PT next week kind of solidifies more my walking so that I can be more independent. Anywho, I got my green tea. I think I'm gonna go back to the Baha'i Institute today just to socialize and see everyone. And then I'll come home and I'm gonna have dinner with my mumsy. Good day overall, but that was the laziest morning I've had in a long time and I've had some pretty lazy mornings. Good morning. I just threw my hair up, so don't mind that. I have a lot to do this morning. I got dressed and I just have to do the rest of my morning routine. And then, okay, I actually look and see. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do my morning routine and then I'm gonna take you, I'm actually gonna vlog an entire day. You saw a bunch of clips that were just sporadic, but now here's the vlog of Thursday. I give up. <clears throat> I'm the worst. I made the cutest little breakfast and I forgot to film it. Uh, I had yogurt and blueberries and then and um, some eggs and now I'm having my green tea. Three cups a day in the morning, which is way too much green tea. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the day with me mom and we're gonna go to the doctor and then we're gonna do other errands and I also have acupuncture. Here's the winter fit today. I cleaned last night at like 9 p.m. I just was like, I have to clean. So I cleaned the kitchen, my room, the living room. So I woke up and I'm being very productive and clean and feeling good. My doctor's a bit behind today, so it's taking a lot longer. We've been here for an hour now. We're here, only took an hour and a half. Take a look. Yes. Besides PT, everything else going on? I like that I can wiggle my pinky out. I know. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, I've never done that before. That appointment went really well. They said everything, obviously, you saw, but everything is healing perfectly, and I am just feeling really great. The wait time, we could have been out an hour ago because of the wait time. We were there for like three hours. We have to eat really fast because I have acupuncture, so in 30 minutes. Kitchen mm -hmm. looks like they nice took care of it. It's getting dark now and so we came home for some dinner and then we will be going to the solstice lantern walk in town which is very exciting mother you're being a little noisy <laughs> so i didn't really explain acupuncture i was gonna film but i felt a little awkward like i didn't want to ask and stuff so i didn't film too much we were doing acupuncture for my for pain because sometimes i'll get phantom pain for sleep and just like mood in general i didn't know this because everyone raves about acupuncture but they never tell you that it does kind of hurt like they're always just like oh it's amazing i felt so relaxed but just if you've never done it before just know that it can be painful i don't have any pain right now after acupuncture so i'm gonna continue doing acupuncture until i'm pretty healed 
We went to the store and I got some shoes, even though it's kind of ironic, I guess, because I can't really wear them yet. <laughs> hey, say hi! hi. <laughs> back home from the lantern walk and it was really beautiful but I will admit I was complaining the entire time because I was in a scooter and there were so many hills so I was kind of complaining a lot now I am home and I'm gonna get cozy read a bit and then say good night good night and goodbye thanks for watching this vlog